Welcome to another first play. My name is Nolan, and today we're going to be playing a game called Grandia. Grandia, or Rolling the R Grandia. I'm not going to do that one. I'll leave that for Dustin. Um, 1997, 1999. There are two years listed. I'm not sure which one is the original release date. Um, this came out for the Sega Saturn and for the PlayStation. Today we're going to be playing the PlayStation version. I don't know if there are huge differences, but uh, for us this week, the PlayStation one's going to be more playable, and I always associated this game with the PlayStation release, um, but either way, that's what we're going to be doing. It is a JRPG, so a couple things up front, probably going to be pretty story heavy. Unlike Kenny, I am going to be watching and reading through cutscenes. If we don't get too much else, that's okay. It's a first play. That's the point of these. Um, let's just load... Well, no, not load a new game. Let's go to a new game and get started here. So I don't know much about this game at all. Um, other than what Dustin laid out for us in the, in the episode last week, which I think the kid's name is Justin? Steve? It's very normal sounding name. It's not like some weird, like... It's not like Cloud... Um, but I, I don't know. It's probably going to be very similar. Save the world from something magical. I like this cutscene. This art style is very cool if it continues. Like, I don't know why I immediately thought of Child of Light, the more recent RPG, that indie game that came out. Uh, it's an indie studio by Ubisoft, I think, but still. I like this presentation a lot. This looks excellent. Again, PlayStation 1. So, I'm expecting a lot out of the cutscenes. We'll see how the actual gameplay graphics look, but this is really pretty. Oh, we have a credit sequence? <laughs> okay. This seems like a TV show right now. Like an HBO intro, like Game of Thrones showing the map and everything. Um, I might skip this part because it's, I mean, yeah, I don't want to read credits the whole time. So, oh! I can't skip it. Brilliant. That's not great for me. Menacing music and a black screen. Should I be worried? Ah, there we go. So these are more in-game graphics here. Oh, I like the uh, the character models there, the I little guess portraits. I must have dozed off. And voice acting. I this had might that be good. Dream again. I think. Bastards. Oh wait, they're hounding me. I think Dustin's gonna have a lot of time Good. to play this game this week, Where and I we suspect now? that he's gonna beat it. <laughs> Just guess. It's only been a half an hour since you asked last. You look tired, General Ball. The. I keep telling you, Mullen. Hold on. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Okay, so his son. Excuse me. The king's son. But Lieutenant Lean is still here. I can't tell if we're like fantasy oh, medieval style like or technology. Like <laughs> He's wearing one of those Dragon Ball Z things but on his own. Know, that lean is a very special part of our military plan. I don't like the way this guy's Aren't speaking. He sounds menacing. His son sounds nice enough. Oh, okay. And then someone who's the not going to speak. Excavation yeah, something's of up. the salt runes is almost finished. I'm counting on you too. Okay. Mullen. Yes. Lean. Yes. Mullen. Is that, is that our character? We've Mullen? assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. Rodney Mullen. I'm sure that we'll hear good news. Maybe I can advance the text and I don't know it because the this current is... current time is, <laughs> is like... 13.40 hours. Oh, I just remembered. Now passing through Parm airspace. Parmesan? Our ETA is 15... <laughs> 30 hours. <laughs> I just remember that circle Lee, on PlayStation is advanced the viewports the text. for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. I don't I still don't think I have control over that though. We might be in this for the long haul. Okay, so we are futurish steampunk? Maybe this is a steampunk game. It's not my favorite trope, but at least oh that was a nice little intro. I like the... I love unexpected title splashes like that. It's just... It's very cinematic. 
Um, I, yeah, I, I'm fine with the technology thing because it's, at least it's not as cookie cutter as some of these JRPGs tend to lean. Lean. Did that on purpose. Um, with, like, the fantasy stuff. And, which is still good. I'm fine with that too, but uh, yeah, this this could be cool. So it's factory stuff. This is steampunky. The camera angles here, the presentation here is very cinematic. I love that. Again, this feels like a show. <laughs> this feels like a not even an anime. This just feels like an HBO series <laughs> or something. Wow. I mean, sure, some of the buildings and some of the graphics look a little polygonal? Polygonal? Polygamy. Right. Hey, you! Oh. Yeah? <laughs> This'll teach you, you punk! Okay. Oh, maybe that's our hero. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, Justin! It Not <laughs> you again! Okay, it is you just Justin. just don't learn trashing my shit again! Justin is I the main- I didn't trash it! Oh, our protagonist Why won't you talks. listen to me? I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Oh, I, I don't like him already. Shut <laughs> up! There's no treasure in all that junk! I don't like him. Now you've completely trashed it. Anyway, Child don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. I, I don't know. That awful man, he never ever maybe, understands. Maybe it's the voice acting. I don't know why I don't immediately Justin! like this person. Oh, great. Here, enter the sidekick. Oh, come on. Oh, she Justin, had a bug Justin. in her hair. It's the legendary armor. I it's found armor. it all by myself. Puff, puff. Oh, yeah. What is that? Puppy helps too. Hmm. Puffy. Here you okay. go, Justin. The legendary <laughs> sure. armor. Great, Dirty Sue. apron acquired? That's the first one. That's that leaves far from legendary armor. Shield of <sighs> Come on. Let's go show this to Gantz. Gantz? Puppy, let's go too. That's Gantz for sure. Wow, the camera in this game is playing a we much bigger it, role than I thought it would. What is going the on? The first treasure. Alright, we have a compass and I can move for the first time. Uh Okay, start is like settings. Oh, how do you exit circle? Okay. Triangle is our character menu. I love the character models, they look really good. And this uh scrolling background is cool too. It reminds me of Mega Man for some reason. Battle Network games maybe did that? I don't remember. Equip Justin. We have nothing. We have a wooden pole. Adventure armor, goggles, sneakers, here. Right, cool. I like the uh, sprite work for all the stuff, too. I'm always a fan of that. Anyways, uh, let's go talk to Gaunt. Oh, voice acting does not persist. Okay, I was going to be extremely impressed if it was always there, but when, it seems like when you have control, it's just text. So we have to go find those other objects. Circle is run. Good, there's a run. This looks cool. Um, I'm, okay, uh, this is very unexpected, the, the role that the camera is playing in this game. On this platform, and in that era with N64, the camera played more of a role in, like, platformers, like Mario 64 or something like that. So, I, definitely not in RPGs, JRPGs, so I'm, I'm kind of tripping. Port of Parmesan. <laughs> oh, that's something shiny. Could this pot lid be the shield of light? Hey, you know what? It does look like a shield. Come on, let's pick it up. Okay, I'm I I've realized what I don't like about this character. It's the voice actor. I am fine with him when he's not talking out loud. J wait, jumping on the handrail again? It's gonna break. Oh, we can make a selection. What? Don't worry. Let's look soon. Nice. Good view. Good view. Oh! Save area? That rainbow area looks suspicious. Wait. 
Our camera angle is completely different now. Wait a minute, I have control over it. I just really, L and R. R1 and L1, camera. What is this game? Also, where was that save area? I wanted to check that. Yeah. Definitely save. Yep. Recover. Hint. What's our hint? The compass. I don't need that. I don't need that. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, should I bring the shield to him? Let's try that. Yep. Pot lid. Maybe you have to show him the thing you found so the other one can show up. Helmet and the sword. Find the helmet first. It's in a place where you always hear the sound of running water. There's literally water right here. Uh, running water. I mean, a sewer down here, probably. I <laughs> found it. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that was easy. Did ya find something else? Show me. Or his helmet. Okay. You won't find the last one. Okay, no hint this time. Um, maybe I won't find it, at least not on the first play. We will find this sword. Let me get a good angle here. How about this? We'll find the sword. Thank you for watching this first play. Uh, I'm very intrigued in this game. It's not at all what I expected. We've got uh, we've got this weird camera angle perspective that I'm digging. Um, no battles yet, which is also strange. Usually you're thrown into a tutorial battle by now. So I have no clue what to expect from that, but already I'm liking what this game's offering. So play along with us, find a copy of Grandia, and play it on PlayStation. I think that's the version we're going to be playing and sticking with. Uh, I think it's also on Sega Saturn. Either way, find a copy, play with us, let us know what you think. You can go to ngppodcast.com and click join us on Discord. In Discord, you will find a channel called Commentary, and you can leave your thoughts on this game, and there's a chance we could read it on the actual episode. So go do that. Until then, I'm Nolan, New Game Plus. Peace out.